Hi everybody and welcome back to FinStep Edge. We are with a friend and someone we've built a lot of things with from many years ago, the FinTech Association. A very famous man who usually is interviewing and providing insights, Henry Aslanian, co-founder of Nine Blocks Capital Management, now based in Dubai, and it's great to catch up with you. How are you doing, Henry? Great. Thanks for having me on the show. How's this move to Dubai been and you know the uh, progression uh, globally to the hub of Dubai? Well, you know, after spending almost 15 years in Asia, in China and in Hong Kong, uh, I was, you know, moved here to Dubai for a couple of reasons, actually. One of them was the focus on building a regulated uh, framework uh, for digital assets. And as Nine Blocks Capital Management, we're the first hedge fund to get a license by the world's first crypto specialized regulator, Vara. So very excited to be here in Dubai. It's been very interesting to see an ecosystem come together where they set up the world's first crypto specialized regulator. Num many of the leading companies in crypto have moved their headquarters here. Now there's a vibrant crypto ecosystem. Great example of build it and they will come. And that's what the UAE has done. Not only Dubai, but also Abu Dhabi. You know what's happening obviously in Dubai, Ras al other places as well. So very exciting place to be right now if you're in crypto. As I say, as Sheikh Mohammed's tagline should be impossible is nothing and come to Dubai, Habibi. Right? Uh, now, Henry, look, you have been one of the earlier um, adopters of crypto, but also evangelists, if I can use that term. Your TED talk on crypto many years ago is one of the most viewed in the world. Uh, and you have transitioned from you know being a lawyer to being an investment banker to working in a you know consulting firm trying to build that ecosystem to now running an asset management hedge fund right um, so why move into this space and what was your motivation for yours yourself and your co-founders to launch nine block absolutely I mean I think what we really believe in is that the institutional capital will come in the digital asset space. But uh, for many cases, they want to learn from it. You know, and they, they, a lot of institutional investors are looking for regulated asset managers that are able to generate this risk-adjusted returns for investors in a regulated manner with proper governance, controls, independent directors, and really be with the institutional-grade business. And that was the mission at Nineblocks, was to build the world's leading institutional-grade you know, digital assets, asset management firm. And that's what we did. Now we're going on our fourth year uh, really focus on being the best and now that's how being you know not only generating good returns for investors but also doing that in a regulated governance and actually proper institutional manner do you want to talk about the growth of nine blocks you've you've, you've seen the times from pre-ftx that challenges around that time and now to what is a a strong bull market but how has Absolutely. that journey been in ups and downs yeah. you know launching a, a hedge fund is not easy launching a crypto hedge fund is even you know definitely more difficult uh, and also raising a, a capital, in a, especially in a bear market, is very difficult. Uh, but the good thing is now that we've been able to go through these, uh, we're at about 150 million in assets under management now. I nice. uh, you know we became the first crypto hedge fund to be licensed by, by Vara in Dubai. And really now going, we have over three years now of uh, track record of generating risk-adjusted returns for investors. So it's never easy. Uh, any entrepreneurial journey is not easy. Any entrepreneurial crypto journey is, even, is not easy either. But also anything in the crypto hedge fund sector is definitely not easy. But I think that's what makes it interesting. And I really believe there's a big space in the market uh, for asset management in the digital asset space, for sure. What would you say are the top three lessons for any asset manager, be it traditional or somebody getting into a crypto asset management, to launch in crypto asset management and hedge fund? Yeah, it's very, I mean, you know, the, the reality with crypto, first of all, it's an asset that's 24-7. The market never closed. Uh, and there's a lot of operational complexities, which makes it very difficult. Uh, but at the same time, you have obviously all these uh, overchanging regulatory requirements and also instruments are coming up and popping up as well. So I always say, if you want to go on Friday night uh, at 5 p.m., uh, enjoy, uh, go out for the weekend, enjoy time with your wife and kids, do not get into crypto. And definitely, if you want to enjoy your weekends and evenings, do not launch a crypto hedge fund. The reality is an asset that is 24-7 with it's its own uh, features. But that's what makes it also very fun as well from that perspective. Okay. Last words on why Dubai and why Wara for companies who may be interested in coming to this part of the world. Listen, I think the, uh, the crypto industry for many years, we've been asking for a uniform set of regulations where we can operate our businesses, where the rules are clear, transparent, and we're able to have a dialogue with policymakers. And I'm very happy to see that actually the UAE has put forward that, uh, that, that, that set of uh, rules and policies and, and regulations that industry can come and abide with and operate at those high level standards and be able to grow the ecosystem. For crypto to go from 1.0 to 2.0, we need uh, proper regulations that are made for crypto. We're understanding the, the, the unique features of digital assets. And I think kudos to the Dubai and the UAE more broadly 
for having put those things forward. That's why I think it's a great place to be right now in the space. Thanks once again, once again for being featured on FinStep Asia Edge, and we look forward to getting you back in some time with the progress for Nine Block Capital Management. Thank Thanks you very everybody. much. Uh, thanks for letting uh, share my passion of the of this industry. With you. Always a pleasure. Thank you.